while we listen to Frank White. So tight, now I understand. Right? Yeah, take that. Come on. Need to organize your fridge? Dollar Tree has you covered. Check out these fridge storage bins. Perfect! So I already did the refrigerator. I just have a few more things to restock. So let's do the cereal. We're losing some. The link for this cereal dispenser is in my bio. Okay, coffee pods. Well, that's not satisfying. <laughs> I'll have something like this linked in my bio as well. I just get the refills for these because I have these little custom bottles that I made and it uses less plastic, so it's better for the environment. Yeah, come in the moon Baby, gonna find so fast, so fast, might give her the wound yeah. 
my swimming in Oh, best friend We can No, no friends Get rid of them Oh, these no Yeah, I ain't feeling them Yeah It's just me and my twin in them That loyalty, everything I don't hang with bro Just be killing my energy Ain't bringing nothing to the table Now I, I organize my fridge She can get a taste had a lazy Susan for prep food. Use a roll out caddy for kids now. Drawer for meat and seafood. The most important part is a dedicated space for leftovers. I'm about to get a new fridge, so I thought I would show you all how I organize my smaller fridge. My bottom left drawer is for all of my vegetables. I use this little container to store my garlic. The bottom right drawer is for all of my fruits. I usually throw smaller vegetable items like lettuce, cucumber, tomatoes in here as well. Next up is the bottom shelf. I use this can organizer to organize my drink cans, things like soft drink or alcohol cans. It fits nine cans inside. It comes with a lid and if you have the room, you can put stuff on top. I use this long container for smaller juice bottles. Keep in mind, I haven't gone grocery shopping yet, so there's usually a lot more here. Unpopular opinion, I store my bread in this container in my fridge because it goes moldy otherwise. Onto the middle shelf. I place my egg cartons on this shelf as well as these two mangoes because they're too soft for the drawer down the bottom. I usually place my meat and my leftovers here, but again, I haven't gone shopping so it's quite bare. All right, moving on to the top shelf. Starting off with this container, I absolutely love this one because it has a lid. We use this one for all of our chocolate snacks. This next tub is for all of our cheese, but we also sit our cheese and cracker snacks in here as well. The last tub on the shelf fits all of our dairy snacks in, things like cheesecakes, dips, sour cream, yogurts and yogurt pouches. This top drawer usually has other snacks, deli meats, miscellaneous items and backstock. The top shelf on our fridge door is for all of our condiments. We like to keep our sauces in the fridge because we find they keep for longer. This shelf is for all things bottles and jars. Obviously this top compartment is for our butter products. The bottom shelf is for our drink bottles like milk, water and juice. My biggest tip for smaller fridges is to avoid overbuying. I hope of your pantry looking like a hot mess then you need this 24 pack of multi-size clear containers from amazon the lids are interchangeable plus and it comes with measuring scoop link in bio to shop under the top amazon picks section by myself talking to the moon pull up the single turn up yeah, yeah. Yeah. pull up the single turn up yeah, yeah.
Don't say do it, shit like. Spill my coffee, oh, what a shame, said it by one in exchange for my number and my name. One day, day two, then four, then ten. And I am giving my pantry a makeover. The bottles are from Amazon. I bought a four pack of oil dispenser bottles. The funnel and cap are included. The labels are from Etsy. It looks. I ain't never been with a baddie. Mm, she can't, so I add her to the tally. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Nah, I ain't never been with a body, with a body. She can't, so I added to the tally. Madison Barton calling her Maddie. Yeah. Like, Mads try to send me that addict. Like. Wow, so satisfying. I'm in love. What do you think? so I've been using this coat closet that's been converted to a pantry. Unfortunately, it really wasn't very functional, so I needed to pull everything out and patch and paint and make it look nice and new with some built-ins. I made some built-ins using three-quarter inch plywood and one by two boards for support, put it all back together, and now it's super functional and actually kind of pretty for a pantry. I wanna go back. Wake me up when you 
Welcome to me organizing my entire house, one video at a time. So join me if you want to organize your house too. I hated the way my pantry was looking, so I had to do something about it. I emptied out the entire pantry. I decided I didn't want to spend any money on this organization, so I used jars and containers I already had in my house. I love the jars because it allows me to see exactly what I have. And I didn't even bother labeling them because I know what's in there, but this is a huge step up from what I had before. The top level has all the seasonings I reach for every single day when I cook. Below that, I have nuts, baking supplies, and superfoods that I use in my smoothies. Below that, I have dried grains, healthy snacks, almond butter, peanut butter, all that stuff. So if you want to organize your entire house, follow me and we can do it together. Pantry renovation before talking to them. After. professional organizer so today I'm taking you guys inside of one of my clients beautiful walk-in pantries I start by taking everything out and this is the time I ask my clients questions on how they use certain items or whether or not they even need it and I've already done all of the shopping beforehand so I know what organizing product I'm using next I put everything away by zone so the right side here is designated for baking items candy sweets and beverages the middle is dinner snacks and breakfast and the left zone is for paper goods party and serving and do not underestimate the power of a label keep them broad to allow yourself room to grow and this should make your grocery shopping a million times easier we ended up having three bags of trash so this is your reminder to not overbuy and check those expiration dates 